K-I-L-R Killer Games All right, so let's go ahead and talk about Minecraft. All right, so Minecraft, um, in case you have been living in a cave, uh, maybe you've been in a cave mining and don't, never heard of Minecraft, but that's kind of <laughs> odd. Uh, anyway, it is an open world sandbox game for the PC, for mobile, uh, phones, tablets, uh, game consoles, your brain. Um, yeah, your brain. So, I mean, it's it's everywhere. It was created by Notch. Um, his real name is Marcus Person. But eh, everyone knows him as Notch. Uh, those in the Minecraft community, though. And the game is currently being developed and published by Mojang. Or is that Mojang? I have no idea how that's pronounced. I'm going to say Mojang. Because it's kind of like Mojo. Mojo Jojo. <laughs> um, when the game uh, first came out, it was an alpha. So it wasn't a fully released version, but that came out in uh, May 17th, 2009. But the full version was released on November 18th of 2011. And ever since then, they've been doing updates, adding more... Uh, just continuing to build the game. So there are over 70 million copies sold for Minecraft. And uh, that's of this date of this video. Wow. There are no set goals in the game. You can play however you want. That's the cool thing about it being a sandbox and an open world. Go anywhere you want. You can go up. You can go down. You can go uh, every which way. Um, you don't have to mine if you don't want to. You will need to get some resources. But, I mean, if you just want to go walk around or run or build a boat and sail away um, with sticks. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you won't get it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you can do that. Um, that's really the cool thing about Minecraft. You can make it your own. And you can play single player, or you can play multiplayer. Multiplayer you can do in the same house, or you can do it with uh, servers Random. with people, you know, across the world. So it's kind of cool. Um, there is in-game content in the form of a dragon to battle, um, if you want to go that route. But so, you don't have to. Yeah, you don't have to. <laughs> Some people, when they play a game, they like to have something to go for, you know, an end ending of some sort. So, yeah, so there is a dragon that you can battle. It doesn't end the game, <clears throat> but uh, that's a thing, if you like those kind of things. And the game world is made out of 3D procedurally generated world of textured cubes. So, procedurally generated means that using computer algorithms... It places these texture blocks uh, randomly uh, throughout the world, but in a it, it's an it's intelligent. It just doesn't throw it out there. Um, it's just, it's really cool because every time you generate a world, it's always different. There are three different dimensions in Minecraft. Um, and over those three di different dimensions, uh, being the overworld, the nether, and the end, uh, we'll talk about the overworld at the moment. The overworld, which is the main world you start in, is contained within a border of plus or minus 29,999,984 blocks on the X and Z axis. All right, so if you remember your uh, grade school math. <laughs> there is no such thing as a Z. Yeah, there is. There's X. Not in grade school. All right, well, 
That's like trig or something. Is it? Okay. I don't know. How about, I don't know, junior high school, um, if you, you have that wherever school. you're at. Um, of course, we have people from all over the world watching us. Uh, I don't know. If you're, what, in uh, England or UK or something, I don't know how it works there. Great school. Anyway, school, okay? Smart people. Uh, <laughs> whether you're young or whether you're older, okay, school. All right, it's geometry. There you go. Goes back to geometry. Your X uh, is like what? Right, left. Z is uh, north, south. Like north, south is Y. Y is up and down. X is left, right. Yeah, that's, yeah. so X is Horizontal. east, west. And uh, Z is the Deepness. It's you know it's kind of weird in geometry. Yeah, they do it x one way, y one way, but in computer gaming, they actually do it where x is right, you know, right and left, and z is north and south, and y is the up and down. Anyways, we've gone completely <laughs> on a whole nother tangent. But imagine, imagine that each of these blocks. Okay, think of it as one meter. All right. We'll we'll do we'll be on the metric system because most of the world is on the metric system, unless you're a special kind of country like uh, the United States or United Kingdom who kind of wants to do their you know, hey I'm from the U.S. so I can say this but you know you kind of want to do your own special thing, and you want to go by inches. No, we're not going to go by inches. We're going to go by meters. Okay. <laughs> Wonder how many people just decided to turn off the video. Who cares? All right, so each block is like a meter. Okay, think of that. Think of nearly 30 million blocks going in one direction, in the positive direction, and 30 million blocks going in the other direction. And then having 30 million blocks going like north and 30 million blocks going south, where you've got this huge square area of, that's a lot. <laughs> That is a lot of blocks. And then add to that, that they're on the Y axis, the vertical axis, there's, you have 256 uh, cubes that you can go that way. So that is big. Um, with all those blocks together, it's the total area is about eight times the surface of the earth. That's pretty big. I mean, how big, that is, is, big. How big is Jupiter? Jup I believe it's about seven or eight Earths, I think. Is it? We'll have to look into that. But, yeah, so I guess when you play Minecraft, you're on Jupiter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so biomes, in case you're wondering what a biome is, uh, let's say desert, jungle, uh, forest. Okay, those are all biomes. <laughs> um, there's 61 of them That's inside, a lot. inside Minecraft. 61 distinct biomes, and they are separated into five categories. Um, snow, cold. You're probably thinking, isn't that the same thing? Well, no, you can have no. you can have a cold area without snow. So snow, cold. Uh, there's medium uh, temperature that has kind of lush um, green stuff. Uh, your dry, warm climates. And then uh, I guess stuff they haven't been able to classify, neutral or unknown, for that matter. There are five different game modes, okay? So there's five different... There's many ways that you can play, but there's like five different modes that you can play in. So you can play creative, you know, if you like to go in there and just kind of build stuff, don't want to be bothered. There's that, there's survival, so you want to go in there and you kind of want to build stuff, but you want a little bit of a challenge with uh, monsters and stuff coming out after you, well, or dragons, for that matter. There's that. There's the adventure mode. Um, basically, adventure and spectator are both multiplayer. Um, adventure. Only? Well, you can uh, multiplayer meaning you can set it up in the same house, but it's they're mainly designed uh, for the big servers where there's a whole bunch of other people. The adventure mode is set up so that way you can have people come into your world and not mess it up. Ah. So adventure mode is. It's limitation. You can kind of go in there. You can... Uh, so, like, you're the admin and not others. 
Right. So if I was going on to someone's server, it's not necessarily that I would, you know, that they, I wouldn't have admin access. What it means is that in adventure mode, there are only certain types of blocks um, that I can do. So I can't go up to someone's house and start tearing it down. <laughs> right. You yeah. know, or if they spent, you know, if the person on that server spent a whole bunch of time creating a town or whatever, you know, you're not going to have some uh, jerk, you know, come in and just ruin everything. You know, it's kind of like you're on the beach and you're making this awesome sandcastle and this stupid snot nosed kid comes around and kicks it. Hmm. And then you just kind of want to like grab him and beat him silly in the sand. <laughs> So the adventure mode is to prevent that. I mean, you want you want people to come in and play in your world, but you don't want them to mess it up. You don't want spammers and bullies. Yeah, you don't want stuff like that. So that's what adventure mode is. Um, spectator, think adventure mode, but you can't do anything. Spectator, all that means, it's funny because it also goes with the word specter <laughs> as a ghost because no one can see you. As a spectator, you're just you're you just have the ability to fly. You can go through mountains and stuff. That's so weird. Um, think of it at you're a ghost. You're a ghost. You don't have a body. You can't really do anything, but you can kind of float around and see what's going on. You know, I I don't I haven't gone on to all these you know different multiplayer servers. I'm sure they you know you can do PvP. So I'm sure there's like civil wars and battles and all this other stuff. You know, hey, they got weapons and stuff in Minecraft, so why not, you know? True. As a matter of fact, that might be kind of fun, you know? You're sitting there building uh, defenses and castles and stuff, and it could be interesting. So, yeah, so, like, Spectator, you would just kind of sit off to the side or float around and just kind of watch everyone go at it. Um, no one sees you, but you can see other Spectators, and they just appear like floating heads. <laughs> from what I've read. That's so weird. <laughs> um, and then there's hardcore. Hardcore is uh, permadeath. So in other words, when you die, that's it. You're dead. There's there's no going back to your spawn point. Um, when you play hardcore, it uh, deletes your world. So, and some people some people like that because it gives them, you know, uh, I guess a bit more realism or a little bit more of a challenge. Um, and hardcore is actually linked to uh, the level of difficulty, which is hard, which is that next part we're going to go into. So there's four levels of difficulty, peaceful, easy, normal, hard. So peaceful, there's no monsters. Easy, yeah, there's some. Normal is your normal. And then hard, well, uh, it, they have like higher hit points. They hit you harder. Armor, weapons. Yeah, eventually on easy and normal, they come out with armor and stuff later on, but hard, it's like, doesn't they don't waste any time. Uh, and on hard, uh, let's say like things with uh, creepers, they can, or skeletons, they can detect your presence further out than what easy or normal is. So, and then also zombies can bash through doors on hard. And hardcore is linked to that. So when you play hardcore, you're playing hard difficulty. And if they get you, well, you're dead. And that's pretty much what we're doing is we're going to be doing uh, hardcore for Minecraft. Because, hey, we just love a challenge. And if we get owned, <laughs> so does our world, apparently. <laughs> Mojang. Oomph, 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 oomph. It's my jam. That's what happens when you run into a wall. Or the ground. Or you jump off a cliff. Or jump off a cliff. It's definitely not the sound you hear when a creeper comes up behind you. Um, and if you don't know what a creeper is, well, hey, welcome to Minecraft. Owns us. <laughs> and I am Killer Gamer. And that other person who's not talking <laughs> is... Nerd Gamer 2K. 2K. 2K, 2K, as opposed to touche, touche. 2K, okay? Okay, okay. Yeah, so we're not going to play Minecraft. Minecraft is going to play us. Oomph, oomph. And it's going to play us so hard, it's going to be hardcore. 
And we're gonna die. And <laughs> we're gonna die, man. All right, just to kind of give you a quick uh, overview of how we're playing. I've got all this stuff set up here. 16 chunks. Doesn't really need to be uh, any higher than that. Although we can change it later if we want to. Meh. And as you can see, we are playing Minecraft version 1.8.8 .8, uh, because 1.9 is not uh, finished as of this video. There's some really cool stuff that's coming in 1.9 or the combat update. Uh, but there's some bugs right there that are not cool with me, such as the music not playing. And I'm sorry, the I gotta have my music. All right. And just playing, you know, the Minecraft soundtrack while playing the game, no, that don't cut it for me. I want <laughs> I want the music cued with the uh, with the game. Because, well, for me, the music is half the game. It sets the mood. The mood. It sets the tone. It allows you to sit under the tree and go, oomph, until you hear this psst, you know, behind you. Um... And if you don't get it, uh, I have a feeling... It'll you, make sense. Yeah, I have a feeling you probably soon will. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go into single player and create a new world. And this is where we are going to choose hardcore mode. So, once we enter into this, we cannot get out of it. So, in case you're wondering if we cheat somewhere along the line and switch a difficulty. Eh, we can't. Yeah, yeah, it's not going to happen. We're not uh, going to be able to proof. do command blocks in this either, which is kind of sucks, but ah! it is what it is. Alright, so... Killer, nerd, gamers. Gamers. World. Um, Take one. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, take one, because we'll have so many takes. Yeah, who knows? We'll call it Planet One. All right, so we're going to do hardcore mode. We're going to go to world options. We can't do nothing this. Hey, look at this. Can't even do a bonus chest. We're going to change this to large biomes, because large biomes are cool. And they're large. And they, they're biomes. Yeah. They are four size of times as default. Now, default is cool. Um, but no. It's cool, and it's cool, and it's not cool. The, the great thing about the large biomes is that it really makes you feel that you're in the biome. You know, it's not like you're in a forest and you go up a hill and now you're in a desert or something. Um, and large biomes, you're in a forest and you're going to be in that forest for a while or desert or whatnot. But what I like about the default one is you could have a forest around you and there's like this little, small little island maybe in between that's got planes. So it gives you a sense of variety. It's hard to explain, but... Yeah. And by me trying to explain it, I'd be boring everyone to death. All right, so let's go ahead and create a new world. And it's going to be completely random. We don't know what the seed is, and neither will you. <laughs> so you you can't look it up on, on, on any mapping stuff. All right, here we are. Uh, there's the desert. There's the desert. Or Actually, beach. that's the beach. It's the beach. All right, so... Wait, is it already sunset? No, that's the sun coming up. Okay, I was going to say, it's already hardcore. <laughs> Look at the hearts. Are the hearts different? Hearts. I don't know, they seem different. Heart. Whoa, whoa. What? Yeah, the hearts. Yeah. They have that black thing. Yeah, I know that. I've never played... I've never played hardcore, so this is brand new. Oh, Ooh, I guess... pumpkins! Ooh, pumpkins. Let's get some pumpkins. We got sheep. Meh. Yeah, what are we going to do? <laughs> there, there are no trees. Oh, we got seeds. Yay. All right, first order of business. We need to... Punch the weeds. We need to find a tree so we can start getting wood. Um... in order to bake tools and stuff. I suppose we can punch. And there's a zombie. Nice! Already? Heh. <laughs> this looks awfully weird. Look at the water. 
It's like going down. That's like bizarre. <laughs> Why are there zombies in the middle of the day? Just I saying. don't. Well, he's in the water. See, he tries to light up, but he can't. You know, he tur he goes on fire, but he goes out because he's. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Look, what? left, 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 left. What? Oh, okay. The sand looked like wood, tree, building. Oh. <laughs> building. Something tells me we're gonna have to. Not go in that cave. Not go in that cave. <gasps> but rabbit, sheep. Ah, uh, trees, off in the distance. Where? See them? Oh yeah. What time is it? That time. <laughs> it's it's time to get our butts moving. Is what it is. You can run. Yeah, I know, but it takes your hunger down. That's not good. Ah. Should have like killed a... those bunnies. Well, we have two seeds. Uh. As we're totally relaxing. <gasps> That's getting, a lot of trees. Getting in harmony. See, what you see, I was... Ooh, horses! Yes! Hey. We're off to a good start. But with this random world. Piggies! Piggies! I was just about to say there's no meat. But I was wrong. We got sugar cane. Awesome! This is like the best place. Yeah. It's getting dark. Yeah, and if we get killed, guess what? Our <laughs> our awesome world, our world, is our awesome world is gone, and we have to start all over again. That would suck. Okay, so this is what's called punching trees. In case you are new to Minecraft, so we are kind of making tutorials and stuff as we go along. So, first order of business, find yourself a tree and punch away. So that way you can get some wood. That's the big thing. Alright, we got our wood. Um, second important thing, look around. Make sure there is... Well, calm um, down. You know, creepers, they don't make a sound when they come up behind you. and Until it's too late. Until it's too late. All right, so we got ourselves an achievement. Get your wood, put it in here, and you will start making wood planks, which is a, a good thing. Um, so you take your wood planks, and you go click, 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 and you get yourselves a crafting table, uh, which we will put... We're going to make ourselves a uh, house or something right here. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start making some tools. So the first order of business is making some sticks, which that's not it. So you uh, put two planks like that, make yourself some sticks. That should be good enough. We're going to want a axe, so just make it in the shape of an axe there, and boom, there's your axe. We are going to need a sword, and that's not it there. There you go, just like that. There's something walking. I think that's just a, a famous last words. Until we die. I think that's a uh, sheep. Okay, so sword. That's not a sword. A shovel. A sword. Begin, it begins with an S. Oh, no. Okay, we need to get more wood. Where's that axe I just made? Now, when it comes to leaves, I never use a tool because it... Shovels work. It's faster. Uh, yeah, it is, but it takes away the life of the tool, I've noticed. So I, I don't do that. It's like, hey, getting wood. I already got wood. Typically, like what I like to do is I like to grab uh, these saplings and stuff. But you know what? I ain't going to worry about saplings because <laughs> we want to survive this. All right. Okay, let us make our pickaxe, because that is going to be important. And we should probably make a hoe, so we can start planting a garden. Because a garden is good, it gives you food. Because um, you don't want to kill all the animals around you, because then you won't... Aww. Well, they, they come in handy for other things, so... 
and we will get to that. So what we're going to do now is we are going to build, <laughs> and I know some of you are going to be laughing right now, we're going to build our dirt house. That's so lame, man. You guys are noobs. No, we just don't want to die. <laughs> it's like, I can build a, a, a house and stuff in, in one day and, uh, yeah, whatever, guy. <laughs> I, I'm not trying to build a house. I am trying to build a quick shelter to survive in. Oh, speaking of which. No. Yeah, use the crafting table. We need actual wood wood so we can get charcoal. But you need a furnace first. Yes, that's why we got the pickaxe. So we can get... Build your house first. Yep, I know. This might be a little too big. We're just going to dig, 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 dig. Hey, here are some saplings. We can burn these, too. You can? Yes, you can, actually. At least you're supposed to be able to. Hmm. Oh, my goodness. I am making sounds, apparently, with... My voice, and I don't mean to. <laughs> so that's what that was. Yeah, that was me sounding weird. Okay. Eh, that doesn't really work for a shelter if we're making a hole in the roof. <laughs> Rule number one. Be careful of things that are dark. Okay. <laughs> Monsters spawn in the dark, just so you know. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to spawn right away, but from the game engine, from what I understand, it will... Make a skylight. It's Oh, no, things fall in there. Do it like that, they won't be able to fall in. The only thing that can come through there is a zombie kid. Okay. So we are getting busy here inside this uh, <laughs> dirt house, which everyone's probably laughing at. Either that or they went to another video. Oh, man, these guys suck. All right. Uh, let's start getting some stone. All right. So if you're new to the game or you're just kind of looking for some ideas, you came to the wrong show. No, I'm kidding. Stone! <laughs> Okay, so this is what you want to do next. You want to get yourself some stone. And this is where the you have to have a pickaxe, okay? If you don't get a pickaxe, you're not going to get your stone. You're going to get nothing. It, it, you're going to be punching away uh, for a while. You'll The stone will break, and you won't get any of it. you got to have a pickaxe, all right? So find your tree. Make your tools. Make sure that you make yourself a shovel. Really good. Axe. Uh, obviously good for um, cutting trees faster, although it's not necessary. I seem to be stuck. I hear zombies outside. Uh, okay. Let's make our furnace. Hurry! We do that by taking cobblestone. That's what happens when you dig stone up and put it around in a square and you get yourself a furnace. So we're going to put that furnace right there. Now we're going to start putting in our wood. Take one thing of wood. It'll start burning and you will make yourself one piece of charcoal. All right. And now that you got that, put that charcoal in there. Because one piece of wood will pretty much burn one piece of wood. So go ahead and put that in there, and that one piece of charcoal will now start burning some other stuff. I guess I could have thrown the trees in there. Yeah, what a waste. I wonder if I can... Can we burn those? Nope, can't burn them. Oh, well. Can we burn any wood planks? Now, see, you can't, you can't... You have to have the actual wood in order to make the charcoal. All right, so we got some light on there. 
Now we're going to make torches. So you take your sticks, take your charcoal, boom, boom. And now we have torches we can throw in here. Ta-da! And we are all good to go. So we shouldn't have to worry about anything spawning in here. We just don't know what time of day it is. <laughs> just wait what, for the music. Uh, oh, that's true. We could wait for the music. That's why music's important, man. Yes, that's a very good point. If you don't have the music, you don't know what time of day it is. <sighs> don't uh, mind me. I'm having a soda. Um, I'm having air. <laughs> So yeah, there's like music that goes to dawn and music that goes to dusk, and then there's just kind of random music that kind of... Like uh, in the middle, in like midnight, noon. Alright, so here's another thing that we're going to do. We're going to make another shovel. And what you can do here, and you can do this with all your tools, you can make them just a tad bit stronger by combining your nearly broken one with uh, a new one or one of a, you know, however much life it's got, and then it'll combine it. Now, according to the Minecraft uh, wiki, <clears throat> it's supposed to, it, it doesn't, it's not like it makes it a brand new tool. It's like a brand new tool with like maybe just one slightly extra, uh, I don't know, perk or something. I honestly, I've never noticed a difference, but hey, I guess it is what it is. I am confused. I know, I, I probably just went on about something that made absolutely no sense. I don't know. I'll have to pull up the uh, Why would you do that? wiki page. What, you may make another... You could have just used your cobblestone. <laughs> Good point. Well, you know what we can do? We can actually burn that. Weak. Wait, you can? Yep. You can use it as a fire source. All right. Well... There is not much we can do in here, so let's just start digging away and start getting resources. Um, there is a trick, not really a trick, but there's a skill to be able to get some of the best resources in the game. Um, I was going to say gold, diamond, but gold is not really a good resource. Well. <laughs> well, uh, it sounds good. It's like, oh, man, gold, what do you mean? Uh, well, let's put it this way. Um, the armor you make out of leather will probably last just as good as gold. <laughs> it Well, okay, gold will probably last a little better, but still, I mean... The, Gold weapons, gold tools, gold armor. They look kind of cool, but, you know, the that stone pickaxe we just made, it'll last longer than a gold pickaxe. Now, diamond, on the other hand. You get you, you build yourself some diamond tools and diamond armor. Ugh. Then you're styling. Light, man. Did I? That was a spider. Well, don't. You need don't. to leave something. Leave something what? So you can jump up. Yeah, we're kind of working on that here. That, so, there. <laughs> uh -huh. Now now we got ourselves a stair going up. Don't get rid of it. No, of course not. All right. Keep digging here. But anyway, those best resources um, are found in the lower levels of the world. I like to go down to level 11. In case you're wondering, think of the core of the Earth being level 0, or uh, what is it? Y equals 0, the Y axis. So 11 is 11 points, blocks. Everything in here is blocks. So it's 11 blocks up. 11 is the, the best place to mine because it's like lava lakes and pools and stuff tend to be on level 11. So, if you, sorry, 10. Oh my goodness. It's late. What can I say? <laughs> so, yeah, mine at level 11, and you shouldn't have too many problems, but still, still be careful. 
<coughs> okay, what do we have here so far? There's me. Hi. Hi. Um. <laughs> See, I hear something moving out there, and that's probably a creeper. Or that's oh. me on the grass. I don't. Really, no. I just thought of something cool. Really? Yeah. What's that? They should add mirrors. Oh, that is cool. We can look at ourselves. Oh, that's awesome. Why did I think about it? It's so simple. Exactly. It's so simple that you wonder, why is that in the game? Yeah, a mirror would be awesome. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah you're welcome, Mojang. I wonder <laughs> how many people have... Uh, that idea has already been suggested. You hear that out there? That's a creeper. It's moving around out there. It doesn't it doesn't make a groaning sound. It it just moves around. All right, we're going to make ourselves a uh, a chest to put stuff in. So uh, we do that by going and just making a square just like we did to make the furnace and you make yourself a chest. So that way we have a chest to put stuff in. So we'll put that in there. We'll put our extra uh, thing in there. Now, as a matter of fact, so that way we don't use this thing up, we'll use this wooden one up. Put our pumpkins in there. By the way, you can light up pumpkins. Um, they make great sources. <laughs> I forgot what a... Uh, is it with a torch? I can't remember. Nope. <laughs> I can't remember. You put the torch under the pumpkin. Oh, is it the torch under the pumpkin? Yeah, because it's like it's going there inside. There we go. That. The lanterns are brighter than normal torches. Did you know that? Yes, actually I did. I don't think it's much brighter. I think it's only one point brighter. It's like um, one block brighter, though. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. It's like the same as glowstones or something. All right, so what's cool about this is that we can... Um, I think we should probably put one in there so we got seeds. That way we can make... Uh, make We can grow more. And then we'll use these other ones to light up uh, the area around us. So that way we don't have uh, mobs and stuff like spawning like at our front door. Because that's not cool. Just like that creeper that's outside. I guarantee you that's a creeper. Creepers are bad news. I don't hear any music. Is it daytime yet? Maybe the days are longer in hardcore. Or you could check it just to see. There's the music. What music? Can you hear the music? It's music in the background. Hear it? It's very silent, but it's there. Now I hear it. Yeah. It was All like right. so quiet. This here, folks, is coal. Working in a coal mine, going downtown. Green, sparkly. Now, in my opinion, you can never get enough coal. And the reason why I say that is because you can make yourselves more than one furnace and have several things going at the same time. You can make block of coal, which lasts so much longer. You can make what? A block of coal. Hmm. And it lasts a long time. I can imagine. Because, like, one block of coal, I believe, burns 32 block things. And we'll get to that, hopefully, if we don't blow up or something. Yep. Yeah, a great way to take things with you when you're traveling is turning it on the blocks. So, block of iron, block of gold, block of diamond. <laughs> if you can make a block of diamond, uh, that's awesome, because... I can never get enough diamond to make a block of diamond because I'm busy using diamond to make everything else. Also, I always go for coal because it gives you experience. 
like you're seeing right there. We're at, I don't want to say level two, that's not accurate. I put um, a torch there. I guess you could say experience. You think I should put a torch yeah. there? Yeah, yeah. Either that or I could just, one thing I do is I can fill certain things up. Well, if you're still going to dig there. I wasn't thinking about digging there. Okay. Well, we know there's a spider out there. Let's see if it's daytime yet. Yeah. It is daytime. Yay. Now we got to be very careful. Be sure to check out the other videos that the Killer Nerd Gamers have done. Like these. You can click on them. Yes, 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 you can. Oh, boy, oh, boy. You can even subscribe, and it's so much sweeter. Subscribe now, and you won't have to hear my annoying voice ever again. <laughs>